What's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking three point charges Q1 1, 1, mic, 1 millicoulomb, Q2 negative 2 millicoulomb and Q3 3 millicoulomb are respectively located at 0, 0, 004 negative 251 and 3 negative 46. A part is asking find the potential VP at P negative 1 1 2 and B part is asking calculate the potential difference VPQ if Q is 1 2 3 okay now let's go for the a part a part is asking to calculate vp now whenever they are asking for the potential we can always use this equation vp can be calculated using since we have three charges we are going to use this formula q1 over 4 phi epsilon naught r minus r1 r is the given location and r1 is the location of the first charge we have three charges each of them going to have the distance so each of them have the location respect to like x, y, z component, right? So the next one is going to be since we have three charges, we have to put three. We have to add this one three times. Q2 divided by four phi epsilon naught, and here we are going to have the second charge's location. That's R2. Now the third charge is going to be Q3 divided by four phi epsilon naught R minus R3. So this is the equation we are going to use right now we have to first uh, we, we we have the charges available 1 millicoulomb negative 2 millicoulomb 3 millicoulomb all we have to do is just find out this r minus r1 and what's the value of that one right it's basically the magnitude we, we just subtract these two and square and square root them and add them together and that's it now let's go ahead and calculate each of this so first let's go ahead and calculate r minus r1 r minus r1 for the first problem the given location is r is negative 1 1 2 so that's the first value we are going to plug right here negative 1 comma 1 comma 2 minus the first charges location is 0 0 4 0 0 4 and if you subtract negative 1 minus 0 that's going to be negative 1 so we are going to have negative 1 square plus 1 minus 0 that's going to be 1 1 square plus 2 minus 4 that's going to be negative 2 negative 2 square square root okay now 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 negative 2 square 4 so we are going to have square root of 6 that's the value for this one so we have to do this one for all three charges like three charges have different locations so we have to subtract like this for the second charge we are going to do the same thing r is this one negative 1 1 2 second charge's location given is negative 2 5 1 so minus negative 2 5 1 and if he sub all, all we have to do is subtract and square them and square root them negative 1 minus minus 2 that's going to be pl plus 2 right here plus 2 minus 1 that's going to be 1 so 1 square plus 1 minus 5 negative 4 negative 4 square plus 2 minus 1 that's going to be 1 square again 4 square is 16 18 so square root of 18 for the third one we have to do r minus r3 and we had we had put magnitude since we are doing magnitude right here r minus r3 and the location of r3 is given by 3 minus 4 6 and this one is negative 1 negative 1 1 2 minus 3 minus 4 6 okay and if we subtract this one what's going to happen this is going to be negative 4 square plus 1 minus 1 minus minus 4 that's going to be 5 square plus 2 minus 6 that's going to be negative 4 square square root so 4 square is 16 16 plus 25 41 41 plus 16 that's going to be what 40 57 right 57 square root of 57 now we have all the all three locations so we can plug it in the equation and find our final answer let's go ahead and plug the values here what we can okay let's take the milli common milli is what 10 to the power of minus 3 so 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 common and also we can take this 4 phi epsilon common 4 phi and i'm going to directly plug the epsilon naught value that is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 so this is epsilon naught value 
and then if we take this one common what is left is q1 okay let's uh, let's write the generic formula first q1 divided by r minus r1 magnitude plus q2 divided by r minus r2 magnitude plus q3 divided by r minus r3 magnitude and uh, after we do that we are going to get some value let's get rid of this part <coughs> okay so this is this value is r minus r3 magnitude we calculated before now let's go ahead and plug the values so for this one 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 4 5 times epsilon naught that is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 and we have the charges that are 1 and a negative 2 so in the denominator we are going to have square root of 6 because we calculated right here and for the second one it's going to be square root of 18 but we i'm going to put a negative sign because it's a negative 2 millicoulomb so negative 2 divided by square root of 18 and the third charge is positive charge so i put a plus 3 divided by square root of 57 and if you calculate this value you are going to get 3 millivolt 3 mega voltage okay so this is what you are getting from this one so this is the answer for the part A. Now the part B is asking calculate the potential difference VPQ if Q is 1, 2, 3. So we already calculated VP, right? Now in order to calculate VPQ, we have to calculate what is VQ is. We are going to use the same formula since the since we have the three charges, but the distance is different. Here what we have to do is we have to change this R value because previously we had negative 1 1 2 now we have 1 2 3 so we have to just change this value into 1 2 3 okay let's plug this on 1 2 3 and if you subtract 1 minus 0 that's 1 so this is going to be 1 right here and 2 minus 0 that's going to be 2 so this is going to be 2 square right now 2 square and then 3 minus 4 we are going to have get negative 1 so this is going to be negative 1 negative 1 square so 1 square plus negative 1 square that's going to be 2 2 plus 4 that's going to be 6 so we are getting square root of 6 again okay so r minus r1 same value we are getting now let's go ahead and calculate r minus r2 this again this one we have to change this one 1 2 3 one two three i'm doing the b part we are calculating vq right now vq okay q distance is given by this one that's why we are changing everything into one two three every r value into one through we are changing this value okay one two three minus negative two five one one minus minus two that's going to be what three so here we are going to have three and then two minus minus two actually two minus five that's negative three so this is going to be negative 3 and then 3 minus 1 that's going to be what 2 here we are going to have 2 3 square 9 negative 3 square 9 18 18 plus 4 22 here we are going to have square root of 22 okay now this is what we are having for r minus r2 now we have to calculate r minus r3 let's go ahead and do that here so r minus r3 we are going to have magnitude 1 comma 2 comma 3 minus the third charge location 3 negative 4 6 that's going to be what 1 minus 3 that's going to be negative 2 square negative 2 square 2 minus minus 4 that's going to be 6 square plus 3 minus 6 that's going to be what negative 3 square square root so 2 square is 4, 6 square is 36, 40, so 40 plus 9, 49. Square root of 49, we are going to get 7. So this is the value for R minus R3. Now all we have to do is plug that value here. Now we are calculating VQ, VP, well, let's keep VQ, VP as it is because we need both of them in order to calculate VPQ. Because VPQ is basically what VPQ is. We have to start from the back like vq minus vp if you subtract that one that's going to be the vpq value 
VP we already calculated. Now we have to calculate VQ. Now this is values for the VP. Now we calculated values for the VQ right now. So I have to change that these values into VQ distance. Okay, charges are going to be the same because it's the same charges. And this distance are going to be different. First one is square root of 6 and second one is square root of 22 and the third one is 7. And if you calculate this one, you are going to get VQ is equal to that's going to be 3.69 mega voltage. So this is what you are having for VQ. Now our purpose is to find out VPQ. All we have to do is subtract VQ we calculated to be 3.69 mega volt minus VP that is 3 mega volt and finally we will get 0 0.69 mega volt that's going to be what 690 kilo volt so this is our VPQ value and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope this helps thanks for watching